Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. So, grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha's is going to spill the tea. Straight, no chasing, no sugar coating bullshit, it is what it is guys. So, I hope you can hear me because the camera is kind of far away. So, let's clear off the energies and let's dive in for my garden. Yay! <laughs> I got my homemade um iced coffee so cheers guys mm. thank you for all the likes the comments the donations the subscriptions i love you guys if you haven't already please smash the like button as you're coming in show love to the channel okay guys i love you and thank you spirit guides ancestors oracles i call you into my beautiful space and i ask for clear precise channel message from a beautiful collective what are we tapping into internally, externally? What do you want them to know? Please give us a clear, precise channeled message. Anything other than the highest white light, I am closing that door now. Please and thank you. And any negativity sent towards me or any of my chosen ones, my star seeds, my soul family, I send back all that negativity that is sent towards us. And I also send back all the love. Okay? I love you guys. So... Remember, if you haven't done the healing, you might want to click off my channel. I don't sugarcoat shit. So, let's dive in. Spirit guides, let's get a clear message from my beautiful collection. Remember to put yourself where you belong. I could be saying he, could be a she, could be saying they. This is for past, present, future. This could be your energy. This could be somebody's energy around you. This could be somebody's energy you know nothing about playing in your energy. So, always put yourself where you belong. This is not a personal reading, so don't take it personally. This is general, timeless, and collective. If you want a more personal reading, I'll put all my information at the bottom, in the description box. We have the Seven of Cups flying out, and we have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you might not see this, but there's a lot of commotion, <laughs> a lot of trying. It's like a deceitful kind of energy the ace of wands and the ten of swords underneath in reverse it's because you have a passionate new beginning so somebody wanted to you know deceive you from this make you feel like you didn't have any options or somebody doesn't have any options but this flew out okay guys so let's see what's going on with the seven of cups in reverse there's no more illusions now somebody has taken the one cup the self-love cup or somebody wanted you to be smug about some kind of offer, but you are very acceptant of, acceptant of this offer. Whether it's the offer of love from God, creator, source, or the love of another person. But you're no longer smug, look, the lovers. <laughs> See, you're no longer smug. You have Archangel Gabriel there to protect you, to guide you, to see you through to the end. Now, there's somebody who is naive about something, okay? They might have been blinded by something, not seeing something clearly. And now, no more fighting. Somebody sees the truth of a situation, they can't turn around. They can't unsee it, okay? Ooh, it's got somebody in a depression, though. Because they can't fight, they can't drag you into other conflicts, you're no longer blinded, but... Somebody, you might not see this lovers coming towards you. Show me what's going on, spirit guides. Yeah, <laughs> it's the eight of swords in reverse. You have gotten out of some kind of mental entrapment, poverty, spirit, spiritual lack, like some kind of thought process, even a jail. Like maybe somebody wanted you to go to jail, but remember you have to break the law in order to go to jail, guys. <laughs> Anyways, somebody thought that you didn't have any options or didn't want you to have any options. But look, it came back out. You healed, and you're able to get this brand new passionate beginning. I like to say the big dick kind of energy, you know? But it's like, you have a lot of drive, a lot of inspiration, a lot of courage. And you're going towards something new, only because you have taken the burdens off your back. You're no longer dwelling on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, these, you know, burdens or betrayals or abandonment. You know exactly who the fuck you are. And you have a lovers coming in. This is um doesn't have to be sexual, but you have that ace of wands. That's like that male phallic, you know. Anyways, you have uh, somebody uh could be partnership, okay? So it doesn't have to be a lovers, like I said, you know. But 
they're, you're getting a new beginning with something after you let go of some kind of mental entrapment, prison of the mind, and let go of these burdens of um, this abuse or, yeah, this juggling. Okay, you balance things out with that two of pentacles. You found time management, you found healthy resources, coping mechanisms to get out of this betrayal, this abandonment. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Somebody has chosen to invest in something rotten. This is why they're depressed. They can't drag you into their conflicts. They clearly tried to juggle you and make you feel betrayed or backstabbed, but you have healed from this drama. And you're starting a new beginning because you cleared the karmic wheel. You are free of any debts of the past. And it's allowing this new cycle to come in. But it's only because you took that self-love. Somebody wanted to be smug about a situation. These people who wanted to, who chose to invest wrongly and wanted you to be in some kind of mental entrapment caused a lot of injustice. But they're getting caught in the red tape. You know... Ancestor spirit guide seen exactly what was going on and somebody has to pay karmic retribution for their choices Nothing gets unseen and everything has to pay now. There's the six of pentacles and the queen of cups Now somebody should have gave reciprocity to the queen of cups equal give and take instead They didn't they caused injustice They wanted to manipulate put somebody in the dark. They I guess they thought because maybe they um, refused you or alienated you or made you feel like you weren't good enough put this burden on you that you would inevitably come crawling back or something but you're the fucking temperance angel so how does that work you brought balance to this situation somebody chose not to invest in an earth angel and instead they chose to do dirty this earth angel is the queen of cups you do not hurt a queen of cups because the queen of cups gives a love from a full cup so they don't need you they want you there's a big difference and somebody has given to another and this was some kind of injustice but you have gotten out of this mental entrapment prison of the mind or a feeling of slaves of this show me more you have the three of wands so what you're waiting for is coming in some kind of retribution it's that lovers that ace of wands and it's a king of wands queen of wands devil in reverse okay whoo we yeah this king of pentacles is very structured they see you as very beautiful very vibrant but they know that you're powerful because you have conquered your own inner demons this is why these people who caused you injustice it was the wrong choice for them to do because inevitably you cleared the karma and they're sitting in the two of wands now the two of wands talks about choices we all have choices guys we all know what we're choosing to do when we put ourselves in these situations this is why you have the world in your hands okay you know what you needed to do in order to get these burdens off of your back in order to take that self-love and love on yourself this is why people are feeling defeated because you balance things out and it all was with your inner beauty Wow, you have the strength card. You have conquered your own inner demons. Ace of Pentacles. You're starting something new. You were able to get it right out the mud. Is there anything else you want to tell my beautiful collective? Somebody feels weak because of your strength. Now, there could have been some kind of energy external from you. Really wanting this person to invest in somebody else. But look, it's the Nine of Wands. Whoever has caused you injustice and tried to put you in this mental entrapment or a jail, they're in a mental imprisonment because the Eight of Cups is here and it's in reverse, which means that somebody is aimlessly wandering because of their choice. They're spying and lying. I just seen that page of swords, so somebody is definitely watching you. And it's the Six of Cups. It's somebody from your past. There's somebody in the background watching, spying, and doesn't want this partnership, this lover, this kindred soul to come in. This is what they've been trying to block, but they feel weak because you're the fucking empress in the upright. And this is why you're starting a brand new beginning. They want you to aimlessly wander, but inevitably this is what they choose. They end up doing. King of Swords, because you're standing up in your power, so you block and really it's like 
you, you use your head over your heart because sometimes your heart doesn't get you in the right places. See the queen, uh, the king of cups in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is um, emotionally unstable, emotionally manipulative. And this is why somebody is speaking up and speaking their truth about these people from the past. Because inevitably, in order to start this new beginning and stand in your power as this empress, loving, kind, and respectful, you do have to walk away, but somebody doesn't want you to walk away. They want you to work with them with the Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. There's a King and a Queen of Swords here, but you have um, a Knight, uh, King of Swords in reverse, the bottom of the deck. So there's somebody who is trying to overpower this. They don't want this partnership to come in. There's a lot of people. But you're single self-sufficient with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody feels foolish and they're regretting the choices with the Five of, Pen uh, five of Cups. They're in a lot of regret because you are the Ace of Pentacles. So you are somebody's wish fulfillment. But they gave that Ace of Pentacles to a greedy ass bitch. And now there's no transformation because the lies. Somebody avoided this power for a very long time coming in with the truth. Somebody didn't want to be honest about this lack of transformation because of this fucking gold digger that they chose over this single self-sufficient person. Yo, somebody made a foolish choice and now feels like a fucking fool because they're aimlessly wandering something they wanted you to do. They're in a lot of regret for that. Ace of Pentacles, they probably took your gifts and gave it to somebody else, but inevitably, you heal from this. And this is why you bring balance to a situation and a lover's is coming in. And somebody is in a lot of regret about that, because they know how valuable you are. Yeah, it's this King of Cups in reverse, somebody who is very, very emotionally unstable, uh, emotionally manipulative towards you. Let's get some messages from the ancestors. I want... <sighs> overall energy first. Spirit Guide, show me what the overall energy is. Okay, we got the Moon in reverse, which means whatever's in the dark comes to light. Okay, I want to see. Okay, we're only at 12 minutes. We have the strength in reverse, so somebody is very much weak, has no confidence. And then you have the moon in the upright because of what they chose to do. Yo, okay, somebody put a lot in the dark. The illusions, the manipulations, they try to get in your dreams, a lot of instability, insecurities. Now somebody is depressed because whatever was in the dark is coming to light and they're feeling extremely weak because you are the... Look, the sun in reverse with the star in upright, because you're the star. So you're the healer. You're able to transmute the darkness into light. And this is causing a lot of people depression, because they have no morals and integrity, no dignity, and they go towards what's easy. And you're the temperance angel star. So you're the healer who brings balance to situations, and this is why somebody is up in their head, because, yo, know, maybe they should have listened to you when they had the chance. Let's see what the subconscious has to say for us, okay? Before we dig into the oracle deck. Spirit guys, what's the subconscious got to say? It says, what am I waiting for? Someone else to do it? <laughs> Ask yourself. Are you waiting on someone else before you take the big leap? What if you were to take life into your own hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risks can I take to move forward towards my dreams? Make the decision to do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared. Take the leap. Today's soul action. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you really are made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. You might love you guys. You can't lose. Now somebody needs to understand that and really... You know, stop living for other people. Stop asking other people to do things for them and take the leap of faith. I have this download a while ago that somebody was like, you know, ask their friends to watch you and their friends ended up like falling in love with you. Yo, let's get the juice. This is, yeah, look, the organizations are watching you too. Somebody feels very fucked up. Very fucked up for a situation. They're weak. There are a lot of doubt. Ooh, lack of self-esteem 
and all this envy, pity, spite that's going towards this earth angel empress, which is my beautiful soul collective. All the magic is being backfired. This Capricorn energy, this devil energy, this codependency, this addiction. You're on your life mission and somebody needs to sacrifice something with the hangman. Because the tower is here. Life changing events, guys. Catastrophe happening in somebody's life. Because you're getting a lover's and you're safe. That lover's going to treat you good and you're going to be safe with that lover. So somebody's feeling in their head like, get the fuck out of here, man. People are crazy. Look, my car just went crazy. It's because you have a pure heart and their fucking world is blowing up. Look at these. Because you're just chilling. You're manifesting a beautiful thing and the devil is mad that justice is coming in for this high priestess because you're safe and this lover is going to protect you. That's a tower for somebody because they sacrificed their own life purpose. Look, they try to get you fired or put out. They try to take you out. Now they're feeling pathetic because what's meant to be is going to be because you're, pathet you're p protected from these karmic energies because you're chilling with a pure fucking heart at the heart of the deck people are having an ego deck because you're the hermit or hermitess yo virgo is my moon yo if if that's not hermit like that's crazy illusions guys illusions you got to be careful okay the collective energy somebody's has a little bit of a bittersweet taste in their mouth right now because of how they fucked up it could be organizations who went up against you take it as it resonates but at the heart of the deck it says you have a right to know and you know tasha is going to spill the tea no matter what even if i'm outside <laughs> it is what it is i love what i do for you guys spirit guides look you got a wish granted let's see some more tea for my beautiful collective and then we're going to get into the oracle for you okay guys spirit show me what's going on here you have this one that's bent out of shape. Look, somebody's bent out of shape because they breadcrumbed you. <laughs> Yo, and you're big things. You are big things. Somebody wants to have a father, uh, have a father with you, have a baby with you. Could be your baby daddy. Take it as it resonates. But as above, so below. Somebody breadcrumbed you. You have ancestors watching you, deities, and you're never alone. Somebody needs to reflect on the choices that they chose to make. Because somebody's getting burnt by the truth under this full moon. You had a soul ascension or your twin, real twin flame is coming in, but somebody's frozen on a drug. This yo could be your twin flame. Take it as it resonates. These people be acting crazy out here, but you use the tools in your toolbox to see someone was going through hell. Like they're just, you know, a drama starter. It is what it is. And they're clearly holding on to you. And this is why they're fucking... It's like, you know, in the tug of war, when you hold on to the rope too long and your hands start burning. Like, this is the fucking analogy that somebody is going through. They acted in the moment on impulse. And now they're thinking, yo, somebody's making a wish. You made a wish to clear the karma so that you can bring something in. But somebody was on the devil's path. They missed your food. And they're clearly undercover brother or sister. So, like, they are not even legit you are sleeping with the fucking enemy and why are they fucking in my energy because clearly they fucked up so they're like you know regretting their choices <sighs> look see they're watching they're stalking you because you're the fucking goat this is why they're up in my energy in my reading because they're spies because <laughs> you're wifey and you're home and they're jealous because they know the person that you're gonna be with is gonna they're gonna conquer with you yo this sister try to keep you stuck <sighs> or person who called your sister that bitch is a dead-end situation yo somebody's stuck with your sister is a dead-end situation i have no idea because you're wifey in your home yo <sighs> and you're the bag like i said dead-end situation that they're in you got growth you tried to get them to grow but instead they delayed that growth and now they're all up in their fucking head because you're home, you are wifey. Now they could have wiped somebody, but are they happy the fuck they aren't? <laughs> so let's see what this new shit is going on with you. Because somebody's up in their feelings because you do have options. Doesn't mean you're taking them though. It says give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? Sometimes we need to work on ourselves to see a romantic feelings now somebody does have romantic feelings for you so if you're not in a relationship get ready you're gonna be in one 
It says your feelings are worth are real and worth exploring. So somebody is going to explore their feelings and work on a partnership, friendship, relationship. Take it as it resonates. But passion is here. It says allow your heart to sing with joy. Somebody wants to sing and sleep and dance and, you know, do the thing thing. It says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then it says pay attention to the red flags. Signs are cautioning you. So we've been through it. So remember, you know, we're not accepting just you know words we're only accepting change behavior this could be the one okay so there's somebody new coming in have heart to heart conversations okay whether this is new or somebody who is just you know brand new take it as it resonates okay but you've already met the romantic partner that you seek whether this is in the 3d or the 5d you know who they are You may not have met them, but you still feel like you know them when you do meet them. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, guys. So be authentic and speak your mind. How are you supposed to know if these are compatible if you're not really honest? And this is what somebody feels weak about because they weren't truthful, they weren't honest, they kept a lot of secrets. And now all, all the secrets are being re unraveled and somebody's very anxious because of all this self-deception. What's done in the dark is coming to light, guys. Somebody needs to regain their composure because it's the rise of the civilization, baby. The star seeds. What is it called? The underdogs are now on top kind of energy. <laughs> Wild West and psychic. Okay, you decided to go on your new path. You are a psychic, a gypsy soul, high priestess, okay, prophet kind of energy. And somebody decided to settle, but you were like, no, nah, I'm going to do my own thing. Somebody is stuck in this religion-based mindset, or maybe somebody's upset with your devotion. World War, yeah, they wanted to go to war with you because of your devotion. So they discriminated against you and went to something easy when you're innocent these people fucking talk shit and you were innocent yo and the truth is coming out that they just wanted charity they're, they're a fucking bunch of charity cases and they tried to brainwash people as if to act like you were charity case and look the law is coming involved the 5d law because some of these is just a bunch of fucking drama starters yo they ain't even fucking real they don't even know who they are because they're too busy copying everybody else Yo, whatever. Anyways, this is dumb. This is a message for you. I am thinking for of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So whatever emotions were in the dark, they're coming to light, yo. And it says, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they are also dis they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment okay so and it says new beginnings a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately this is what somebody didn't want you to do and you were like peace <laughs> let's get an affirmation for the day spirit guide show me an affirmation from my beautiful garden from my beautiful collective yeah somebody really tried to brainwash you or the law but then the 5d law stepped in because you are very protected you got peace you are somebody's peace they fucked up I am, uh, I am unwaveringly in, I am an unwaveringly in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenges. I am determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace, balance. You found balance and peace after this crazy distortion that people wanted you to be in. <laughs> and look, and self-love. Fuck yeah, baby. I love you guys. I find balance between each sphere of my life. I am a master of my daily life. I make time to nourish my spiritual and physical. I bring love to the world by fulfilling my needs of my body and soul. Self-love. I attune to my needs by listening to my heart. My inner essence lets me know what is good for me. I respect my limits. I answer the quest of my body and my soul. Thus, I learn how to love myself. Fuck yeah. That's why you got these new beginnings. At the heart of the deck here is romance. And imagine 
all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life cupid's arrow strikes baby and this is why somebody's fucked up because they wanted you to fucking stay stuck and the fuck you will let's get a message from the plant world because i know you guys love this deck spirit guide show me a message from the plant world in my beautiful garden one message from the plant world for my beautiful collective give them some clarity i think we have two of them we have the sacred basil and we have this antonisia okay so the sacred basil sacred basil is a visionary plant that helps us to connect with our sacred self this plant restores our trust in life it reminds us to open our heart especially to ourselves sacred basil protects the heart and is especially helpful when experiencing loss of soul haha <laughs> you see that and then we have this artemisia okay this amazing plant commonly known as mugwort confers to the ability to access the higher self reminding us of who we truly are and con context contacts us with the indigenous soul it helps us to unlock energies that are keeping us from manifesting our full potential you're going towards your soul purpose and it's causing a lot of people to be fucked up in their head but hey last closing message guys what is the time i'm sorry <laughs> that's the only way i could see the time <laughs> spirit guides ancestors oracles somebody is in their emotions because of the choices but we have choices guys number 33 is here I'm not gonna take it but somebody might be a master number 33 and now they're waking up to see this that you put the work in somebody should should have put the work in that's the uh, cosmic hunt tarot with the eight of discs spirit guides show me the last closing message from my beautiful collective what's the last closing message to bring it all together yeah somebody's taking the mask off somebody's got a secret admirer waiting in the wings you got the two of cups there and it's the 28th and 10 is a completion okay it's the colorless duke now somebody could be very colorless because of the choices they made somebody needs to get a little bit more healthy decisions new path and ideas there are many distractions around you which are causing you to Causing, which may be stopping you from focusing on what's important right now. You must take the time to concentrate on your needs in order to recognize where your energy should lie. You must find time to be quiet, meditate, or just move yourself from the busy situation. You have an air of charm and a positive energy around you. This is a time of confidence and to reach for the stars. Connect with your own soul power and inner power and realize your true potential. You do not have to hide your light as you have plenty to give. Let uh, Set yourself a goal and do not lower yourself to sway from reaching the desired outcome. Guys, it's all about structure. It's all about discipline. We can do this. It's up to us to see. Okay? I love you. I hope this resonated. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want a more personal reading. I'll put all the information at the bottom, okay? I really hope this helped. You have the Knight of Probes with the Queen of Swords. So you're standoffish to anybody who comes in with that player player energy, guys. The new beginning is not bad. And that's what somebody is feeling a little bit oppressed about because they're all up in their motherfucking ego, yo. Okay, it says it's time to give rather than take. Somebody needs to understand that it's time to give rather than take. Somebody wants to just take, take, take and nope. Sungway Dizu, God Creator, said enough is enough. Bottom of the deck, it says it's time to jump in. Armageddon energy, guys. It's time to go on a new adventure. Say yes to change. Know your worth. You are strong. You are vibrant. You are beautiful. And you deserve nothing but the best. It's time for you to find balance, okay? It says a personal issue reaches resolution. Emotions are running high and release control so these are also all cards that came up this morning except for um jump in the armageddon energy okay at the heart of the deck it says a fiery climax is approaching embrace the flow of life guys have faith in your dreams and the energy is gaining momentum it's time for action be proud of yourself
Okay, guys, I love you so much. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped you on your journey. Please like, comment, subscribe as you're leaving. I hope this resonated. Let's get a Tasha T message. Tasha T message. It says, you need to watch your back. Okay? And it says, if it's good, it's wonderful. If it's bad, it's an experience. We need to go through them. It says, don't dwell on what you can't change, guys. It is what it is. And keep your mouth shut in silence so nobody can disturb your dreams. And the last one at the heart of the deck is you are the artist of your life. Don't hand the paintbrush to anybody. And that's clarification. That's a ship going through my town. And <laughs> beeping the horn. Stay quiet till it's time and surround yourself with people who are only going to lift you higher. Because there's a lot of motherfucking troublemakers trying to get up in your energy. But you put the deck that with Scorpio. I love you. Stay blessed and believe you can and you're halfway there. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>